Now, a lot of people don't realize that finding a wife is not complicated, but remembering the girlfriend you have sex with <laughs> might be complicated, right? <laughs> because you're confusing things, right? The Bible never said you couldn't have premarital sex, but that's in the old, right? Okay, <laughs> for one, for one. Paul said it differently. Paul said the father has control over who the daughter marries, right? And can keep his virgin or not. <laughs> Which ain't what Moses said. <laughs> Moses seemed to know better <laughs> than to say that to the daughter. <laughs> I wonder why, right? Well, it's like the song Rude, right? If someone loves your daughter, right, and your daughter likes the man she's interested in, right, you can't really stop them from finding a way to get to the guy, right? <laughs> They'll find a way. <laughs> and that's what you don't realize, too, right? <laughs> now, like I said, I just go out, I eat. Um, it does take me an hour, oddly, right? <laughs> But okay. <laughs> and all I could do would be to add lib, right? What I don't know happened during the hour if it again, right? It's taking that long for me to eat, right? Even if it's a few females in the smorgasbord, right? I'm trying to eat <laughs> my food, right? Not have sex, any, right? Now you can do that too, right? Huh. Surprising, right? right. Now, uh -huh. if someone is misquoting the Bible to you, it's because they didn't understand the difference between the religion that came up between Daniel to Jesus, right? And from Jesus himself trying to preach it to the disciples till now. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is politics was playing a role, especially with the Romans choosing their chief priests, right? <laughs> and see, the thing is, like today, when people read the Bible to you, if they're reading to you passages they're told to read or that makes more sense to them, right, you're not getting the full story, right? And all I need to show you that something's off is show you two or three scriptures anyway that contradict what the other person is saying, right, in the Bible as well. Mm -hmm. So then you got to figure out what's really being said, right? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, like I said, I do remember, like I said, um, waiting for Sarah in the car, and again, um, this woman came up with her two daughters and a son, and they were putting the stuff in the car, right? <laughs> and, uh, now my windows were rolled down. I was trying to mind my own business, right? <laughs> and again, I could see the daughters going in and out of the vehicle, right? But I don't remember anything being discussed with anybody either, either. Now, it could have went that way, I guess, right? If the woman thought I was looking at her daughters, right? I would explain to her, well, ma'am, I'm sitting here waiting for my friend in the store named Sarah Thompson, right? <laughs> I know. I dropped her off. She asked me to wait here, and I'm waiting for her. Mm -hmm. And I would try to explain it to her. Mm -hmm. Though, as I'm waiting for her, I see you and your daughters interacting with, I uh, know, and again, and again. And I remember seeing a woman with a man, right? And again, right? I might be interested in, but don't remember discussing anything with them, right? 
And, of course, I got me a slice of pizza and, um, a, uh, brisk raspberry iced tea, or, um, to drink, right, and I ate that out in the car, right, so, and, you know, as soon as I was done, I threw the stuff in the, um, trash and just waited for Sarah, mm-hmm. And, yeah, I see attractive women I would be interested in, but I don't remember talking to them or anything of detail, but, right, <laughs> I don't, you know, <laughs> know anything more than that either, either. <laughs> but like I said, when you're out somewhere for over an hour, right, <laughs> you kind of tend to you know, not really focus on anything specific, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. <laughs> and I am looking for a wife or a girlfriend, though their age wouldn't matter. Like, if both girls were around 12, 14, you know, whatever, right? I know not to be with them. And that's what I would tell their mother, too, right? <laughs> I don't know. And try to have a rational conversation with someone who might be being irrational. Mm -hmm. But see, Daniel in the old talks about the Antichrist not desiring women, right? Mm -hmm. Now, even if you're gay, it don't mean you don't find women attractive. It means you prefer the company of a male, right, for some reason, right? I'm not here to condemn homosexuality as far as that certain people are doing it anyway. I know what I do not think should happen is everyone should be projected as being gay or straight upon another person's opinion right? of who they are. <laughs> that ain't your business, right? But like I said, right, I don't contact people I don't know. Not being the Erin who just had a daughter this morning, I heard, right? Congratulations. And again, right, I'm in Georgia. She's in Australia. I've never met her, but seen her on TV, right? That's all I know about it, right? <laughs> Unless, like I said, she did something with me and you blocked me out over it, right? Like, I can't be with her because of our age difference. Well, I can't even technically be with her mother either. either. See, I'm defined a young woman who has not had a child yet as my wife anyway. But again, I don't judge all that or worry about it either. It's not like I care if mm -hmm, a woman has daughters or sons or not, right? Either I don't judge that either. either. <laughs> but again, I don't know who it is, right? I'm supposed to marry, right? Perfectly either. Nobody does, right? <sighs> mm. So you try to find someone, right? That's all you can do, right? Now, there's only one place, though, in a restaurant, like I told you, you could have a little bit of privacy, and that's in the stall in the bathroom, right? With the female, right? <laughs> but the female would have to go with you voluntarily. You, you can't just drag her into the bathroom, right? I mean, you know what I mean, <laughs> Things like that, right? Or that would be caught on camera, too, or whatever, right? <laughs> Or people would know something was going on and would, you know, try to interfere with that, right? Mm-hmm. Right, right. <laughs> and if you're justified, you're justified. But if you're not, you're not, too, right? If you start accusing me of wanting to do something with the girl and I'm trying to behave myself, that don't mean I'm not tempted by a female, <laughs> There was an attractive brunette in the western Switzerland that 
I thought, look, damn it. <laughs> but I didn't say nothing to her, I don't recall. And of course, I believe that one of the waitresses who looked like I've seen her before, and that's all I did was leave at her. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think we had sex or anything, but like I said, there's a place we might could have done that or not, right? Mm -hmm. If we did something, though, it's not a crime, right? If we didn't, it's not a crime. But the first thing you got to ask is, are you married, right? So ABC, Good Morning America this morning, right? After just wowing the country, the world, what do you do next? Well, Monday, Amanda Gorman comes live to GMA but with Robin Roberts. You tell us how. I'm glad you did, right? But you're choosing your agenda. When you choose an agenda, not telling the whole truth, right? You're lying somewhat, too, right? So you, you don't know things that are out there that are out there and people aren't telling you about it and then you're going off what's called half cocked, right? Like you're doing the right thing when really you might be doing the wrong thing. Right? The now the Bible talks of a day when you will know the Lord, right? <laughs> but the only way you can know the Lord is if you want to know the Lord. Why are we sinning with Satan, right? According to the Old Testament, right? Because he taught us the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm. over the truth, right? By lying to us that we would be as God if we knew good and evil. Oh no, with him. <laughs> and that's what the wording's all about, right? Now, just as what told them not to eat of the tree right, of the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm, was there with Adam and Eve, that which talked to them that Eve thought at first was a serpent, right, also interacted with them vocally. That mm -hmm. one did so in a deceiving manner, using a bait, its serpent. <laughs> You know what that could be, you know, that could be if it was a human being too. And again, someone don't want you to know this. Could it be the Roman Catholics under Constantine and the Orthodox? You're right, you can't have two faiths. One is going to be proven wrong, and, uh, and you should have never believed in it, and one is going to be proven true. And you should have believed in it the whole time, <laughs> it's better to forgive than condemn, right? One is only truly good and one is only truly good and evil, right? Because then you're trying to entrap someone into doing good and evil with you and agreeing that what you did with them was evil to do it with them. No, no. That's kind of how simple it is, right? If, for instance, Adam never had butt sex or any kind of penetration right, of his buttocks right? and Satan introduced that to him he might would afterwards think that was evil <laughs> and wish he had never done it <laughs> yeah that's what the odds are going to be as well <laughs> do you know what I mean right <laughs> But then, I know, there's the idea of rape, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> now, I live at home alone. Any woman during the night can come by, but, you know, like I said, I here Automatically wake up and go to the bathroom every two or three hours. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, of course, know when Amanda came by a few times, right? In the past, right? <laughs> but usually she comes with someone. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> 
And like I said, I've heard of the name Emma or Victoria, but it don't mean I'm referring to someone like on today's news broadcast. But only reason I know of her or them is I'm watching the news right now, right? But I don't know them outside of normalities. And both women are attractive, you know, women. <laughs> you just look, but you don't touch without permission, right? I keep emphasizing that. <laughs> well, I wonder why. <laughs> if she does, I don't know that. <laughs> Why don't I know that? I never met her before. <laughs> never saw her. Right? Never even seen her in my neighborhood. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I don't recall getting to a fight over it if she showed up or something either. Right? So I assume I never met her. Right? Right? That's how you do that. Right? It's like with Karen Chandler. <laughs> Women from skating yesterday, right? <laughs> I don't know none of those ladies, right? No matter their age, from 15 to 26, whatever, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. But if they're in Stockholm and I'm in Georgia, of course, I mean, you could pretend all that. <laughs> you could put up a sign that says Stockholm and any skating ring and no one could know that. <laughs> You're really somewhere else, but okay, okay, whatever, whatever. You can say you're in Stockholm and no one knows you're in Stockholm or not. <laughs> and, uh, but for people to go there means they left the United States and went to Stockholm, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you got them the money to do so. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And that's Emma, so, like I said, right, I'm talking about her, but I'm not trying to hook up with her, I'm not trying to meet her, I'm not trying to go, gonna go find out where she lives, or crazy stuff like that, that ain't my business, right? Mm -hmm. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. See, the first thing people try to do is judge people by appearances or outward, you know, features, right? And not get to know a person as they really are, right? <laughs> but I'm 51. I think I look pretty good for 51. What do you think? <laughs> well, like a sleeping Jesus, huh? <laughs> like on the Shroud of Turin, maybe. Unless that was Peter, right? But I look like Peter a little bit. Too, right? <laughs> <laughs> if somebody who was crucified in night manner as Christ, but might have been buried differently... <laughs> Only way to explain it, too, I know. <laughs> but it also looks like he was resurrected, too. And Jesus did say there'd be some who shall not taste of death till all the fields, right? But what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know either, but I'm part of that fulfillment. But I'm telling you, we might have another 3,500 years and you can't tell the difference. Because the Three and a half days can also be 3,500 years, right? Or so. Or so. <laughs> and you're trying to end it all <laughs> without understanding it all. I oh, know. <laughs> that ain't what Jesus means. <laughs> and why might could God rip? Think something in a few days, right? Versus thousands of years, right? It's God, right? Once we're out the way, who knows what it can do? <laughs> or how fast it can terraform the earth, right? It could be in 24 hour days, right? 
Now, it's not until man gets back on the planet, though, it might have to deal with the same problem again. <laughs> and you can only start with the original design of the designer, right? Every time. <clears throat> now, for 6,000 years, I guess, if you make that day as a thousand years, right? And that thousand years as a day, right? Which is basically a thousand years is what it's saying, right? Okay, if it took 6,000 years to replenish the earth every time, right? That's a short time in the whole timeline they're discovering. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. But that means we keep destroying it and God keeps having to what? Replenish it, replenish it, right? To replenish something like at the flood as well, there was a replenishing there too, right? Okay. <laughs> Even Sodom and Gomorrah, because it was destroyed by what we call a meteorite or asteroid shower, right? Today, right? Didn't know what it was that hit, even hit him, right? But the sin was judging others and trying to make them conform to your way of living without what? Consent in law, right? They couldn't say no to you. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> See, that if I like a girl, the first thing I tell her is, how old are you? Or I ask questions of her. I try to get to know her, right? That's so weird. Not have sex with her. But if I'm sitting, okay, and I'm looking forward, I see everything forward, right? right. Now, if I'm waiting for Sarah at, again, <laughs> right, right, and I would point this out, right? <sighs> if someone was to accuse me of looking at their daughters, you know, as they were putting stuff in the car, right? I would tell you, well, of course I've been looking at them. I'm waiting for my friend in the store, right? I don't have a choice. She needed to get some things from the store, right? So I'm waiting for her to come back out, right? That has nothing to do with you or your daughters or your son there, right? <laughs> Whatever's going on here, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just ran into you today <laughs> while doing my thing, <laughs> Which is helping my neighbor get some stuff from Sam, right? Now, for some reason, she's in there for an hour or more. <laughs> and I just wait for her till she comes back out, whatever she's doing. <laughs> in the car. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's all I know about it, too. I don't remember really talking to the woman this way, right? Either, either. I don't know. And I know the police can't show up and just shoot me over it. Because it would just be a discussion. I know it would just be a discussion. It's not like the girls are going to actually have sex with me or I'd actually try to have sex with them to prove a point. <laughs> but you don't shoot me over a discussion. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're a murderous bastard then. <laughs> and I can call you a murderous bastard over that bullshit. And that's bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> to try and kill someone over. <laughs> and every man deserves at least one life. But Solomon might have had a thousand. Are you jealous of Solomon? <laughs> like I, I am either. I know. <laughs> I'm not jealous of Simon, Solomon because I'm trying to find a wife, right? First. First. <laughs> I'm not even worried about one or more, right? <laughs> First, I got to find one woman who can put up with my ass, right? And me, her. <laughs> That's got to be mutual, you know what I mean? <laughs> or you're wasting your time. <laughs> you're wasting your time. <laughs> if they don't, right? I don't know. Now, like I said, I saw Cliff out with another woman, right? Then the woman he married the last time I was at Western Sizzling, right? I didn't say nothing, right? I don't know what was going on, right? 
I know. I just eat my food quietly and leave and leave. Unless you want to start shit. <laughs> and see, like I said, right? I don't recall that in out the ordinary happening, right? But that can be paranoia, right? You're causing me to think something happened, right? Whether it happened or not. And if I'm discussing it with you, it's not a crime. No, it's not. It's normal conversation you're, you seem to be afraid to have with other people. It's also confessing your thoughts, right? We're not a perfect person, but you want to act like you are like Satan does, and that's part of his sin, right? His sin is acting like he's doing something right when he knows he's not, right? It's not right to introduce anal sex the way he did to even Adam, right? And that's what I'm talking about, right? Making something appear more than it was in reality, right? It would be, right? Is not how you really do that. Nope. All right.